How's it going guys and welcome oh, It is a bit dark isn't it? Let me let me just change that Whoa. <laughs> Much better Lighting is everything, but today we're not talking about lights. We're talking about after effects. We're talking about sound waves and here is what we're going to be doing today Right, so when you open up After Effects, this is what it's going to look like. I've already dragged and dropped Jordan Ashley's track and his artwork into this little box here. So what you want to do is, is go to Composition, New Composition, 1920 by 1080. That's perfect. Okay. Then what you want to do is, is just drag Jordan Ashley's music or whatever music it is uh, to this little box here. And then go to New Solid and then dark gray, perfect, done. Go to effect, generate, audio spectrum, and there you have it, there is your audio spectrum. If you try and play it, it's not going to work. So what you wanna do is, is tell the audio layer up here um, what track you want it to, to play along to. So yeah, now it will work. So when you're going to try and play this audio, it's going to try and render and it's going to sound really slow like it just did now. It will sound better once you've exported it. But I'm going to teach you everything I know about all these and uh, make it look really cool. So let's have it. Start and end point. Basically, they're just stretching out the, the audio here. Um, so yeah, it's just preference really. Uh, and then here you have like these two here. They just do that but uh, we're not gonna do that. Like they just do a diagonal. Uh, then there's path. Path is, so if you grab a pen here, do this and then do a bit of that and then mask one and you can make your own kind of, yeah, thing there. But uh, yeah, we're not gonna do that for this one. Uh, start frequency, I usually have down to one and then end frequency. So what it's trying to do is it's trying to find the high and um, like the high pitches and the low pitches of the song. So some songs may not have what other songs may have. Uh, so for instance, it's kind of like zooming in, in and out of the audio. So for this one, you can kind of see that it's scrolling past. So for me, a lot more is going on around the 1300 mark. So we're gonna leave it around there. Then frequency bands are these little guys here. So the lower you go, the more separated they're going to be. But then like the closer, you, like the more numbers. So if I just keep going, keep going, it's just going to look like it's one solid thing. So that's how I'm going to leave it. You guys can have it however you like it, but that's how I'm going to uh, have mine. And then there's maximum height. I cannot stress this enough. Try not to have it too wild because if you're having it too wild, it will go off frame and it just won't look that good. So for me, I'm gonna try and have it uh, maybe about there. That looks cool. Audio duration. So this is another, it just makes it look really nice as well again. So if I go to a really high number, it's not going to show a lot that's going on here. I would recommend maybe 20 here. Actually, no, maybe that's a bit too much. About 50. Whichever, I mean, it's it's everyone's preference. I mean, yeah, maybe 70 looks good. 70 looks good there. Uh, audio offset, it just looks like it's delaying with, like the audio with the, the actual animation here. So I don't actually touch that at all. Um, you, you're more than welcome to play with it, but I just don't touch it. Thickness is just the thickness of the actual wave here, but um, I think I, I liked it how it was before. And then softness. Softness is just, see, look, if I go to 100%, it's gonna look all fuzzy, but I don't really wanna do that. So I'm gonna go to nothing and make it look solid. Inside color and outside color. Well, we're gonna have a look at that now. So I'm gonna go for blue, just to show you guys, and then dark blue. And then if you go down to here, you can do like a whole 360 and 
you can do lots and lots of colors. If you just keep spinning it, more rainbow, like more colors are gonna come in and make it look really cool as a rainbow. But I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna do that for this one either, just because I know what I wanna do for, um, for, uh, for this track. So I'm just going to make this white make it all white, which looks pretty cool to me as well. Um, digital is what you can see here. Uh, analog lines, you can't see them, but they're kind of like uh, a zigzag kind of line, just because the way I've, I've done it, you can't see it. But as well, this is a really cool one, dots. So while you're playing it, you can see all the dots bouncing up and down, which is really, really cool. And then you have side A and side B. So side A is the top half and side B is the bottom half. Some people like it in different ways, but I like, I think I'm just gonna keep it with side B and I'm going to put it back to how it was before with digital. Now we're going to do the, the orb. If you wanna go over here, go to effects and presets and then type polar. Drag that on to here. And then what you can do is, is just bring it to polar. And then just keep going all the way around. You don't want to do it too much where it looks like it's like a wall. Like there, there is perfect actually. So now that we've got that going on. Now that's perfect. And I know you're probably thinking, Charlie, you're missing something. And I definitely am. You're, you are right. It's the artwork. So we'll go to the artwork now. Go to Jordan Ashley and just drag this on. And there it is. We'll just stretch that out. And then you want to just go to the music file or is it? No, the solid. That's right. And then just stretch this out as well just so it can fit. Perfect. So when you're happy with your audio wave and you want to export it, just go up to composition here, go to add to render queue, go to best settings. You want it the best quality you can have it. So best for, yeah, this is all good here. Um, okay. Go to here and then quick time is what I go to. You can have it whatever you want, but this is just an example. So I'll just go with quick time. Okay. And then what you want to do is, is just basically put it wherever you want on your computer, on your hard drive, save it, and then press render. Okay, so now that's all rendered up, I threw it into Premiere Pro just because I didn't like these black bars here. So what I decided to do was, is just grab this image here and stretch it out to the length of the video, and then just scale it up, all the way up, about, yeah, about there and then just put the video clip on top of the image. Sweet. And then what we wanna do is, is just go up to effects and then type crop. Put it onto the video, scroll down. And then for me, I think it's 19. So we'll try that, perfect. If not, if you don't wanna type it, you can just scroll. So uh, about, yeah, about there. See, that looks sick but it doesn't look like it's connecting to the image behind it. So what I'm gonna do is, is just go to blur, um, this one here, just drag it onto the picture and then scroll down, go to the blurriness here and then we're just gonna blur it up. Not too much, but just so we know that, like the background, about there. And there we have it, there is the video. So guys, that is how you do a sound wave. I hope it was really straightforward. And if it was, leave a comment down below, leave a link to your YouTube video, and I'd love to see what you guys have done. I'll make sure to give it a thumbs up. Uh, if this video did help, yeah, why not give it a thumbs up? And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss a single video from me. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna try and be here every Friday, guys. So. If you want to know anything, leave a comment down below and I'm sure I can try and do a tutorial on it. Um, yeah, I mean, we just did an audio sound wave. What's next? <laughs> I don't know, but we're gonna find out. I'll see you next Friday, guys. Bye.